G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sean and today we're taking a look at the Mod Mic Wireless from a company called Antleon Audio. This is a attachable, detachable microphone. It goes for about $189. Today I'm gonna to take it out of the box, go through what's included, and then we're gonna set it up, install it, and do some audio tests so you can actually get an idea of how this microphone sounds. If you guys like this kind of content, don't forget to chuck it a like, get subscribed, and let's begin. So if you guys have been following this channel for a while now, you know I've talked about headsets really having terrible microphones that come pre, I guess, installed or included on the headset, and they're just generally speaking not very good. Um, I have been using a pair of AKG361 headphones for a while now for audio monitoring, for listening to music, playing games, um, but unfortunately this pair of headphones, because it is focused on really um, music production, it does include a microphone. So I guess the idea around this product is that this microphone will attach to the side of this headset. It includes a USB receiver that goes into your computer, Mac or Windows, and basically it turns your, I guess, you know, any pair of headphones into a headset with an included microphone. And then when you don't want it, you can just easily detach it. So what they say about this little microphone here is that it is full band audio quality, um, low latency, five times faster than standard Bluetooth, um, two microphone modes. So I believe there's a broadcast mode and a noise cancelling mode. So that's really good if you've maybe got like a fan or maybe some people in the background and you don't want to pick up that noise. Um, and then you've got in 12 hours of battery life or 12 plus hours of battery life. Um, and then on the back of the box here, you get a bit of an illustration of, you know, the product itself. So you've got a powerful magnetic clasp, quick mute. Um, obviously it's talking about the battery life. 12 hours, by the way, is quite a long time. Like if you're doing a one hour broadcast, maybe each day for work or something like that. Like you should be able to get through a whole week's worth of use without needing to recharge um, this microphone. You've obviously got a charging point, uh, charging port, flexible steel boom so you can adjust it so you can wrap it around maybe to the front of your mouth. Um, USB type A, some status indicators, I guess that's to let you know if it's connected or if it's having issues, maybe low battery. Um, 34 milliseconds of transmit time is what they say. I have to trust them on that. I have no way of measuring it. Um, full band audio range, broadcast quality mode, and noise cancelling mode. So it says here USB Type-A for Windows, Mac, Linux, PS4, um, additional cables are required for other USB devices. So that's actually quite interesting. You can use it on a console like a PS4, but maybe something like an Xbox One or a PS5, you might need some extra adapters and things like that, which don't come included. So just maybe take that into consideration. Now, I probably haven't talked about how much this is. In Australia right now, this goes for $189. So that is actually quite expensive for a microphone that just essentially attaches to your headset. But if it gives you really, really good results and maybe means that you don't have to buy something like a Blue Yeti with a boom stand or a mic stand and deal with all the clutter and cables, like this is a wireless solution, maybe it's a good deal. So we'll just have to wait until we get to the part where we actually do the audio tests to find out. So let's get this out of the box and see what comes included. Um, I've actually had a little sneak peek already just to make sure everything was there. But basically what you've got here is a nice little carrying case for transporting it, which has got the Antleon, Antlion, Antleon, I hope I've said it the right way, um, I guess name brand embossed into the case, which is quite cute. And then we'll unzip it and we'll see what comes included. So what we've got here is the actual microphone itself. So we'll maybe have a look at that first before we get to the accessories. So this is the Mod Mic Wireless. Really small little compact um, microphone. Um, again, quite flexible with that steel arm, so you can literally bend it into whatever position um, or twist it or do whatever you want. So for example, if this is on the side of the headset, you could wrap it around um, something like that maybe. So that's quite cool. Stays in place, doesn't really go anywhere, quite rigid. Um, you've got a little pop filter on the microphone, which I'm assuming you can actually go ahead and take it off. So there's your, there's your microphone basically. Um, we'll put that little cover back on. It's good that, that it's actually removable though if you wanted to, I don't know, clean it if you felt like you, you know, wanted to give it a wash, antibacterial. Um, a little switch here, I guess that maybe your, your mic mute switch or your broadcast mode, maybe that's what it is, broadcast mode and what was the other one? It was noise cancelling mode. Have to check the manual obviously. Um, you've got this little 
I guess, 3M sticker here. So that will actually attach to the magnetic clip, which will go on you know, your headphones. So you do actually have to stick something onto your headphones. That might be a turn off for some people, but I think it's not really a big deal because you know no one's gonna really see that, um, especially if it's an attached wired pair of headphones. Um, but yeah, not a big deal in my opinion anyway, especially if you're getting really good audio quality. Um, this little button here, I'm assuming might be your, your mic mute button with some status um, LED indicators possibly. And then for accessories, you've got here a USB extension. So this might be if the receiver is just maybe too far away from the microphone, you might need to maybe um, try and position the receiver a little bit closer. So that's something that they include, which is very handy. Then you've got a USB A to micro USB B for recharging. So I'm assuming, yeah, so this will basically plug in like so into a you know standard wall outlet or maybe the USB port on your computer to recharge the microphone. So you've got two cables, then you've got the receiver. So this is you know the receiver, which is apparently five times better than Bluetooth, and I'd probably trust them on that. They seem to be you know, the professionals in this area. Um, you've got maybe like a pairing button, some more status LED indicators, so standard USB-A dongle. So very handy that they include this case because there's so many accessories. Um, you've got an alcohol prep pad, so that's for, you know, wiping down the side and cleaning that before you attach. You've got the 3M, and then you've got the little magnetic attachment, and then you've got another clip here as well, so maybe that's um, a spare possibly. We'll have to have a look at the manual. And then we get to the manual itself. So that's pretty much it in terms of accessories. Let's get this out of the box. So this basically just tells you how to um, attach and you know make sure the microphone's in the correct orientation. So if you're a bit of a beginner and you're not sure and it's all too overwhelming, and then they've basically got that in you know a bunch of, is it different languages? Yeah, different languages. But then it's also got like the specs and also how to pair and what all the different LED indicators mean and if they're flashing and what that means and all that kind of stuff. So basically you get everything you need to go ahead and get this setup out of the box. So what we'll do now is maybe um, prep the side of the headphones and get this thing attached. All right, so let's go ahead and get this microphone attached to my headphones. Um, I was reading the manual just quickly and it basically says that it's best to have the microphone on the right side so that way the charging port is facing down. So if you've got your headphones on, the cable is running down, not sort of going up. So that way you can actually, you know, recharge and use the microphone maybe at the same time. So that's something that they've noted. And these little other attachments here um, to the side, which you guys can't really see, uh, it's kind of out of the frame, but basically this is, I guess, if you wanted to change your mind, put it onto the other side, or maybe onto another pair of headphones if you change your headphones. So that's handy that they actually give you a couple extra 3M little, um, you know, VHB strips there, or stickers, or whatever you want to call them. Um, this little clip, I'm not actually sure what that's for, maybe for your cable, so you can go ahead and make sure that's not going to go anywhere when you're recharging it. But let's go ahead and get these stuck on. So the first thing we need to do is grab our little alcohol prep pad. We'll go ahead and put it onto the right side so I don't muck that up. Just had to remind myself. So this is a flat surface. So this is hopefully an ideal situation. So we'll give that a little, little clean like that. And then we'll go ahead and maybe wipe that off. Maybe it's not a good idea to wipe it with my finger after I've done it. Put all those oils back on. <laughs> give it a little blow dry. And then while that's drying, we'll grab the mod mic. So this basically has the little magnet already, I guess, pre-installed for you. All you need to do is take this off, literally peel this. Actually, what I might do, just so that way I get the actual positioning, does it matter? Can you, oh, you can move it around a bunch. Oh, that's cool. So there's multiple ways for this magnet to go on, which is nice. So we'll take that off. Oh my God, it's a strong magnet, Jesus. Um, we'll pull this little sticker off the back and we're going to go ahead and stick it literally over the AKG logo just so it's in the center and it says to hold it down for 60 seconds so I'm not going to bore you I'm just going to do this and then we'll cut and come back a few moments later all right so as you can tell from the little thumbprint um, I've been holding this down for basically 60 seconds and it is attached so the next trick would be to basically uh, we're going well, actually I did it on the right side didn't I so I've got to do it like this and then like this 
don't drop it, don't break it, and then this should just, oh, literally goes on like that, like not going anywhere. That is, it's really easy, like that's sick. If I put these headphones on, can I do it? Oh my God, the magnet is so good that if I, if I just roughly randomly kind of guess where it is, it just sort of goes on, like that's so easy to put on. And then this microphone would just, I guess, wrap around a little bit like that. So once you've got it set, like I don't know if you can see, but I, the magnet's so strong, it literally pulls the cup off my ear. But I would actually probably recommend like maybe pulling it down that way, so that way you don't, you know, smack your ears every time with the headphone, you wanna take it on and off. But it's really easy to put on and off. I don't know if you guys think this looks stupid or not. I actually think it looks pretty cool. Um, and like you can barely tell that, that magnet is on. Like if you're on stream and you know you're not using the microphone, for example, or you just you know you're listening to music, it's not going to look super weird or stupid. But if you want to remove it later, like maybe you sell your headphones or something, um, I think it's actually a really really handy. I've seen a lot of people, you know, I guess talking about this little microphone, but I've never actually used it myself and seen someone actually put it on or off. But um, yeah, not too bad. So that's literally the microphone, how to install it, wrap it around. Let's um, let's switch the setup. So let me get set up at my desk. Let's get this thing paired and installed and we'll see how it actually sounds. Okay, so here we are at the gaming streaming setup so you can get an idea of how I've got the microphone connected to my PC. And so we can do an audio comparison between the mod mic and my Thronmax M Drill Zone, which is currently what you're hearing uh, me talk through, I guess, right now. For the mod mic though, the receiver is connected to that USB extension, which is then connecting into the back of my PC. Because there are a bunch of things in the way, I actually found that having the receiver there was just almost like a guaranteed way to make sure there was no issues and that we had a perfectly clear line of sight between the microphone and the receiver, so we get the very, very best results. If you've maybe got it you know, with the receiver under your desk, where your PC or your console might be, you might get some issues with the audio quality. Um, in Windows, you can see here we've got the Antleon wireless microphone appearing in the devices area, the sound area with, uh, I guess, the recording tab. We've got the microphone, and then the format is by default 16-bit, 48,000 hertz. The levels is 100%, and then in the custom area, we've got AGC turned off, and then everything else is basically set to default. So when we do the, the switch from the Throne Max to this one, you know that you're going to be getting an uncompressed, unedited, I guess, audio recording of the mod mic. So let's go ahead and switch um, from the Throne Max to the mod mic, and we'll do some test phrases so you can see how they both sound. Okay, so what we're going to do now is read out some test phrases so we can compare the Thronmax M Drill Zone to the ModMic Wireless. I'll do basically five test phrases with the Thronmax and then we'll switch to the ModMic and we'll do the broadcast mode and then we'll do it again with the noise cancelling mode. So to start off, let's do the first five with the Thronmax. The small pup gnawed a hole in the sock. The fish twisted and turned on the bent hook. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. Okay, so that's the Thronmax M Drill Zone. Let's turn that off. And now what you're hearing is from the Mod Mic Wireless in the broadcast mode. So this is the initial, I guess, first impressions for you guys. But let's read those five phrases again so you can get an idea of how it sounds. The small pup gnawed a hole in the sock. The fish twisted and turned on the bent hook. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. So there's the mod mic wireless in the broadcast mode. Let's now switch it to the noise cancelling mode and do those phrases one more time. Okay, so now we're in the noise cancelling mode. So this would be if you're using maybe a fan in the background or you've got maybe an office with people talking and stuff. Um, but we'll read those phrases one more time. The small pup gnawed a hole in the sock. The fish twisted and turned on the bent hook. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. So there we go, we've done the Thronmax, 
We've done the mod mic in broadcast and now the mod mic which is currently in the noise cancelling mode. I'll switch it back to the broadcast for one more test and we'll do the outro and we'll basically wrap up this video. Okay, so now what do I actually think of the mod mic wireless? Um, initially I thought $189 was quite expensive considering how small this microphone was. I was already a little bit skeptical on whether or not it would actually sound good. But once you really think about, I guess, the form factor, how small and convenient it is, built-in battery, rechargeable, compact, wireless, um, not a lot of clutter, easy to set up, and actually very good hardware with pretty comprehensive accessories in the box, like that USB extension, some extra 3M um, adhesive as well. I actually think for $189 and listening to actually how this microphone sounds, it's actually a really good product. And I can see a lot of people who are maybe on the road or in the office who need a good quality microphone better than the one that's on their webcam. Maybe one that doesn't require or take up a lot of space and have long cables and mess to deal with. This is going to be an extremely popular option for people like myself who have a really good pair of headphones and don't want to have to sacrifice or switch and just need a bit of an upgrade on their microphone. You know, if you're someone who has people telling you on your video calls or on Discord when you're gaming that your audio quality isn't that good and there's a lot of echo because you're using your webcam um, and you don't know where to go and you don't want to get one of these crazy setups like what I've got with the boom arm um, because, you know, you are mobile, maybe you've got a laptop or something, the ModMic Wireless is going to be a really popular option and it does sound really, really good compared to some other headsets which cost over $200, $300 that have a microphone included, which is like a bit of an afterthought. This mod mic wireless is a great add-on to a really good pair of headphones that you find to be quite comfortable. Like you might have a really good pair of Bose headphones that you want to you know, get a better microphone on, or maybe a pair of Apple headphones like the AirPods Max or something, and you're not happy with the microphone quality. So for $189, this is going to be super popular. Um, I couldn't talk about it any higher. Like, I don't think it's priced too high or too low. Too low. I think it's priced appropriately, and I think you get a really good sounding microphone um, at that price point. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Um, big thank you to Antleon for sending over this product. And if you want to know more about them, I'll leave links to where you can buy this kind of stuff down in the video description. If you enjoyed the video, chuck it a like get subscribed, um, come chat on Discord every Friday night. I'm live on YouTube and fairly active on Discord. And other than that, I'll see you in the next video. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.